Baptist Convention uh, with its flawed social justice history. <laughs> See, without the issue of race and, and other things, challenged the NAACP and said we were way out in front of the faith community. Didn't call me, didn't, didn't talk to us, just said it to a reporter. So let me close in the language of my faith. My faith teaches that, as a Christian, that you must ensure justice for the stranger in your midst. Yes. Even as you would for a family member. Mm -hmm. The faith I was taught, over 500 years of preaching on my father's side and over 300 years of preaching on my mother's side, the faith I was taught, mm -hmm. the faith I once rebelled against, but the Lord found me. Mm -hmm. The faith I was taught says the mandate of Christian love invalidates any license to hate. Even, even if I disagree with somebody, the faith I learned said, let the wheat and tear grow together. Because I'm not gone and I'm too feeble to do the separate. Faith I was raised on said, you got to love even your enemy. Those that are pushing this amendment, I wonder what they do when they find their own children are a member of the LBGT community. <laughs> do they throw them away? Do they have some usher at the back door censoring people? Do they check sexuality at the door? Do they own, disown their own children? Well, if they do, they do something that God doesn't even do. I stand here as a witness of a God that loves you even when you're not in the right place. According to the faith I learned from my father and my mother, the most important, the real issue is how you love. I come from a faith that even if you believe somebody is a son, we're called to heal them and help them and to bring them in, not push them out. All right. There are those who say that this amendment is the most, most important moral issue of our time. It is. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Do you not know that how we treat the least of these is the great moral category of a thing? Right. Have you not read what Amos said? Seek good, not evil, that you might live, and then the Lord God Almighty might be with you. Let justice roll down like water.